Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Jonathan, and we are here on the Super Kick Theory channel. We have begun the brand new rebo uh, reboot, rebrand, whatever you want to call it. New series, new game, new look, new name, new profile picture. Everything's brand new here on the channel, and we're kicking things off with WWE 2K24, my general manager. Now, if you were here last year on the RKO Theory channel, we did have some... Uh, Stuff going on, but some stuff happened, so we kind of stepped away from that. So, we've gone through a reboot. We do have a Universe Mode series going with my good friend Powerbomb Inc. Make sure to go subscribe to his channel. His channel's name is literally Powerbomb Inc. That is where his side of Universe Mode will be taking place. That's right, we are doing Universe Mode on two different accounts. It's sure to be fun, and it starts... Uh, either tomorrow or tonight, tonight, depending on when this gets uploaded. It's, this is currently being recorded at 1021 on Sunday, uh, March 10th, I believe. Yes. So, anyways, that's that. So, let's get started. W2K24, my GM, a lot's been added, a lot's been new. I've played some of this with Powerbomb Inc. It's been a blast. But we're going to kick things off here. Uh, so, I've kind of run through. I've uh, We've got one going on uh, week 20. So I, I kind of got an idea of who I want to be, and that is the Million Dollar Man. I love this card. All matches are free to book. That comes in so handy, especially when you're low budget. And is there any other brand to pick? EC Dub, EC Dub. Now our opponents, I will be going with a full set, and to make things slightly harder on myself, we'll be playing against Monday Night Raw and Mick Foley. Teddy Long, and I mean, is there any other brand for Teddy Long to run? And we're going to have William Regal run WCW. Now, uh, this is like early days, like this is March 10th. The game, I think, just officially came out for everyone two days ago. So I don't have anyone crazy downloaded just yet. So this is a bare bone, just straight up normal MyGM. In the future, I do have some uh, crazier ideas coming in mind. Uh, possibly some specialty uh, my GMs. But let's get through this first. I'm hopefully going to get through at least one season. Now, instead of doing one week per episode, as a way to make sure this kind of goes decently fast, I'll be doing one month per episode with showcasing a match at the pay-per-view to end it. So that's how we're going to do things, just make it a bit easier on me and a bit different. I might be also starting on my rise soon, so just look out for that on the chance that I do. Anyways, uh, players take turns, same order every week, determined by the order that brands were selected. No. Turn order reverses every week. So I like that they change this. This isn't the draft, or just the draft order like it was last year. This is in general. Then brands rotate through the turn order from week to week. The brand who takes the first turn this week. Okay, none of this really matters. For the actual grand scheme of things, because I'm not facing any other humans. But for the draft, this is kind of intriguing. Uh, but you know what? Since we're only just facing CPU, uh, let's just go round robin, I guess. Match unlocked. Start with a few match types unlocked. Yes, I, I like the challenge. Shakeups on default draft pool. All right, let's get into the official WWE draft. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. The WWE All righty. So I will admit, I am not the greatest with drafting sometimes. I kind of just tend to draft who I want, but I'm going to try and draft in a way to make sure classes make sense. Uh, heal and face turns, I can change when I want. Uh, okay, yeah, let's get, let's go look through here. Let's kind of get an idea of who's all in this draft pool for uh, this first episode. Oh, Dominic, Dakota. All right, all right, we got some uh, good names here. Tiffany, Scripps, Gigi, Cora. Okay, I I'm seeing a lot of my favorites, which is good, good, good. Uh, I feel like I gotta go with. The man who's going to beat Roman Reigns, and I swear to God if he doesn't, Cody Rhodes. Alright, we already know this, Xavier. Rob picking up Becky Lynch. 
SmackDown picking up Drew McIntyre in WCW. Bel Air. All right. All right. Raw now. Rhea. Jimmy. Okay. Uh, I gotta go Randy. I gotta go Randy. Smack them up two cuts in. Okay, I will admit, uh, I do not know a lot of the NXT people as I don't watch NXT. Personally, I know some names. Like, I know a good handful. Um, The first female pick... It's Tiffy time, baby. I, I, I have to, alright? I'm a huge Tiffy, uh, Tiffany Stratton fan. Oh, that one. Alright, I might have to be trading with Raw for Bray Wyatt in the future. Alright, uh... Trying to see. Wait, what is Tiffany specialist? Is that what that is? I don't know what all these. Yeah, specialist. Okay. Um, so she can work with basically anyone. Oh, I'm gonna go with Cora because I love Cora Jade. She's a big fan of her too. All right, I'm gonna be moving on back onto the men on my next pick. Jey Uso, Sheamus. All right, let's go for someone a bit on the lower end to kind of help with the budget if I can. See, I want to get Dominic, but I'm pretty sure that's I'm gonna to have to like move him to move him away from Cruiser or get a giant. Okay, he's a backstage brawl specialist. We might get lucky in one of these and be able to switch him from Cruiser to something else in the future. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Dom. I'm going to try and see if I can get a, uh, a giant to go against him on my next pick. That's going to be my goal for my next pick. Alright, Damien Priest. Alright, let's... Uh... Okay, we got some giants. Let's go with Dijak, why not? I can always turn him face or turn Dom face, one of the two. Alright, I need a couple more women. So, both Tiffany and... Tiffany's a... Specialist, Cora's what, a fighter? Yeah, okay, so... Bruisers go well with fighters, so let's take a look, see if I can get a female bruiser. Okay, there's not too many, so let's go with Nikita Lyons or Lions. I don't know how you pronounce it. Nikita Lions, okay, according to a, a ring announcer. LA Knight going to Raw. That's going to make my friend uh, Powerbomb Inc. happy. He's a huge LA Knight fan. Uh, Alright, let's go back to the women's division here. Uh, How many faces I got? Okay, so I got Tiffany as a heel, Nikita as a face. Cora is a heel. Okay, so let's go with a face. Let's go with Liv Morgan. Oh, I, I'm hoping Bailey's there next round. Because so I'll pick up Bailey. Alright, Otis going to Raw. Alrighty. Montel Vontavious Porta. Montez Ford. Yeah, yeah, optional drafting. Okay, uh, when we get back to me, I'm going to take off my Ross here for a second. Alrighty, uh, I've got... Okay, we're, we're doing okay. So let's get another male. Uh, hmm. I mean, okay, so we got Cody and Randy are faces, Dijak's a heel, Dom's a heel... Okay, so we need another, another face mail. Do I want to go big and go with Jay? I mean, he's in there matchup for die drag, which is always good. Yeah, let's go with Jay. Gable. Oh, that hurts. I would have grabbed Gable. Alrighty. Uh, I've only got one giant. Like, is there any other? Where were the other giants? I don't really want Omos personally. Um, 
We also need to pick up a couple tag teams if I can. I'm going to try and grab uh, Pretty Deadly. If I'm able to pull it off. Okay, there we go. Elm Prince and Kit Wilson. Bro, here Michael Cole say yes boy is jokes. I've never heard that before. That's great. Um, and of course, we can also make tag teams, so that's uh, also a good thing. Oh, we're running out of uh, men. Probably, let's pick up McDonough. We can always pair him and Dom together. Though I think I'm getting ready to tap out this draft soon. I'm going to see what my female's looking like. But I don't want to be broke. Foley's out. All righty. A tough choice awaits the SmackDown GM. SmackDown's still going strong. For the WCW WCW's Man. going strong. And you know what? I think we're out. I think we're done. That's a solid first roster. Who will join SmackDown in mere moments? The SmackDown roster. Teddy Long's out, so it's down to Raw and WCW. And you gotta wonder who's next for WCW. WCW's out. Now it's on down to Raw. Oh wait, Raw tapped out. I didn't realize that. My bad. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's go into, here we go, week one of five. Yes, the Hall of Fame. All righty. Yes, yes, I know how the messages work. Well, I think I'm very, all right, so we're in San Diego. Okay, good, good. I was born for this, Hunter. Just one, you know, WC Tickets top power, running capabilities, EC to win doesn't stand a chance. Alright, Regal run his mouth. And fully run his mouth. Alright, women's yes, women's divisions are unavailable. And before you people ask, why did I draft women? Trading. Alright. I'm gonna try and use my women for trades later on. If I can get their popularity up enough. I can potentially trade them to Raw and SmackDown and WCW for more men. There, there's a method to my madness. Don't worry. Anyways, uh, let's try the title on Randy Orton. And tag champs, we'll go with we'll go with McDonough and Dirty Dom, and then our TV champion. Mm. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with Jay. Confirm. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I got the To The Moon card. Get a veto champ if we schedule a run-in, but we cannot use you for a PLE or Week 25. Dirty Dom, okay. Yes, 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 Dom, yes, Xavier. I know how all this works. All right, when opposing brands... Uh, select the posting brand. All right, let's pick that up. Uh, I'll pick that up, and I'm just going to use that right now. All right, there we go. It's perfect. I need the women to go up in popularity. So let's go put this on Tiffany. ECW. All right, so these are other cards. Okay. Yes. So let's take a look at our season challenges real quick. Renew the contracts of five superstars. That's simple over time. Raise the popularity. Oh, no. Uh, book 10 matches with superstars who have more than 65 popularity. Use 10 power cards against other brands. I'll work towards that. Book 15 shows with a title match. Okay. 10 table matches. Make three superstars very happy. Resolve five rivalries during a PLE. Complete five trades. Book five shows with every match has a different match type. And book 10 shows with all promo slots filled. Okay, that, that one's pretty simple. All right, so this is the interesting part, is the way they do logistics. I'm pretty sure each tier you unlock is what unlocks you match types. So that, we're going to have to look out for that. I'm not... Uh, I'm, I'm debating if I want to buy any right now. Uh, yeah, you know what, let's... Uh, actually, let me go... Let's go play with the talent scouts first. I want to see uh, both renowned stars, uh, male, uh, any role, 
giant. And that's it. Okay. Okay, Gunther. Alright, alright. There we go. So we got Gunther on ECW. So let's take a look at our staminas here. 90, 88. So our lowest is Liv Morgan, Cody Rhodes. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep Cody. Oh, why is Cody? Cody's already annoyed. Okay. I wish it would tell you why they're annoyed. Like, so you can maybe fix it. But they don't for some reason in this. Uh, so... Okay, that's good to know. So I can switch Cody to a cruiser if I really wanted to. Okay, uh, basic stamp. So lose two less stamina when participating in matches. Gains a match quality most of stars used in Hell in a Cell. And he's annoyed too, and he's champion. Okay, Dom, uh, Randy, Extreme Rules. Gain one random card start of every season. Bruiser bonus class. This bizarre can change between fighter and bruiser. Okay. And Gunther, popularity. And casket match. Okay. So I'm going to try and keep Cody off the show, if possible. While also trying to run my women's division here through promos. So Tiffany's gonna go up 15. So let's put Nikita on the mic. Uh, I'm not gonna do women promos every week, but we are gonna do it for the first couple. And then we're gonna have a tag team call out. It's gonna be dirty, uh, pretty deadly. Calling out Dom and McDonough. And actually, no, 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 no. We're not. We're not going to worry about it because I am going to take this as the week to turn these two face and get that just done. So I have a face tag team going on in the future. There we go. Okay. Uh, we're going to book uh, Cora Jade. In a match with Nikita, since you know that's the the style, the classes match, and then we're gonna go with uh, let's see here. Since we've already got four guys not booked, uh, let's go to our main event first. Actually, I'm gonna book my main event. I want Randy defending the title 100%. Randy will defend because the debuting Gunther and we'll have the extreme we'll have the ECW title on the line in an extreme rules match because they're both at pretty good stamina and it's Randy's specialty. Uh, and then we will have uh, okay, let's book on one more women's match here. And it'll be Triple threat between Jay, Cody, and Dijakovic for the title. And no, no, Cody has not the best stamina, so he can't be in it this week. Or do I actually want to take Cody out and make an Extreme Rules match? All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, and we're going to swap these two and hope that this does better. All right, uh, I think I'm pretty good on my first week here. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the arena this week. Yeah, let's confirm booking. All right. And Jay Uso. Uso retained the title in a four-star opener. Good, good. Cora, all right. Yeah, I wasn't expecting much out of that. Okay. Neither of my women matches am I expecting too much. Okay, okay. The rivalry will help with uh, popularity. And the main event of the evening, Randy Orton defeats Gunther. And a four-star stream rules. Looks like Raw, the same idea as me. Title open, title to end. 
All right. Ray Wyatt. Nakamura. Alexa Bliss. Nice, nice. Oh, it's going to make Powerbomb Ink happy. Yeah, I'm... Him and I tend to watch our videos together, and uh, he's going to praise Raw for this. He's going to praise Foley. Uncle Howdy and Damian Priest. Wow, they used everyone up to the point where they couldn't even do a third uh, promo. All right, all right. Congratulations, Damian Priest. Baszler and Gigi versus Jane and Ripley. Yi Chin. Gulak and MVP versus Sheamus and Gable. So they picked a... Did they pick up MVP in the draft? Did they pick up Sheamus in the draft? I don't remember Sheamus being in the draft, but that didn't mean... Duke Hudson in the main event. And two wins! Wow. Okay, SmackDown. By the way, I'm not going to be doing this every week. I'm going to do this for the opening week. Every other week, I'll just simulate the shows fully. Uh, I'm just doing this for this opening week because it's the first big week. But all the future weeks, I'll just simulate the full show so we can get on with this quicker and get to the pay-per-view faster. So we can get to our match and you guys aren't sitting here for three hours. Omos. Cal Rodriguez and Eos Sky. All right. Indy Hartwell. And Braun takes the title off uh, Uso, off Jimmy, I believe that was. Alrighty. So, yeah, here's the thing. So, I, we won the opener, all tied the mid-card. Raw took over the second mid-card, and we tied with WCW on the main event. And we were the only one with amazing booking. So... We did good for our opening week. Our show quality was not the greatest. And we lost money. It's alright. It's alright. It's early weeks. 42,000 fan change. Alright. Well, we gained 42,469 fans. How many did Raw gain? Damn. Okay, Raw. What they'd use a power card or something? Well, they have charity promos. I didn't realize it. All right, SmackDown and WCW picked up similar, and that puts us at the bottom, but not by much. We're not too far behind SmackDown and WCW, and there's a tie for second as it is. All right, all right, Foley. Foley! Foley's starting the war off early. All right, uh, we definitely want that card. And I'm using this on Foley now. I don't care if it seems petty. <laughs> all right, so that's week one in the books. Uh... Oh, vetoed this. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, no, not Town Scouts. We are gonna. It's hurt. Okay, that that's kind of hurtful. Uh, but we've only got so many giants as it is. So, all right. Uh, Cora did go up popularity. That's good. That's good. I thought I used a card on Tiffany. Or was it after next match? Did I fuck up? I don't know. Anyways, uh, this is going to be essentially promo week, kind of, with a women's match slipped in here. This will be the, uh, I want Cody in there. I want to figure out how to fix his morale, so we got to figure that out. Anyway, all right, that, that definitely weakens stamina, so I'll probably keep Randy and Gunther off the show this week. 
But my tag stuff is going strong. All right, so we're all, they're all solid enough stamina. So I'll book uh, another tag match. And this, there we go, book a tag match. Uh, should that be the main event? Probably not, but it is. And it's gonna be Dijak versus Jay, because I want that to be a feud. And okay, uh, I may have to do Randy and Gunther this week. I don't want to. Let's go. And right, we don't have any talent scouts. Okay, so that that's an easy fix. Randy on a self promo. Eh. Bailey and Nikita. There we go. And actually, I don't want that. Uh. Yeah, let's go for that extra fans bonus, Randy. All right. All right, so this will hopefully do decent this week. Uh, I'm good. Uh, I don't want to worry about that right now. Actually, let's... Let's do charity... And I don't really want anyone losing popularity. Oh, whatever. We'll just run an app. One advertising, one charity, and a self. All right. Confirm booking on week two. All right. Skip Raw all the way out. Skip SmackDown. Oh, solid show right there. Skip WCW. Here we are. I don't expect it to be too good. I'm hoping I'm wrong. Wow, okay, so the classes really do help with fucking ratings. Holy crap. And Liv beats Tiffany. Yeah, that match is always... Those women matches are always going to suck. Okay, Cora went up one popularity. It's not the greatest, but it'll help. And Bailey beats Nikita. Cody with... Good, he lost zero popularity on that. Okay, I was a bit worried. <laughs> and Judgment Day with the victory. It's all right, it's all right. So let's take a look at what actually happened on Raw. Okay, uh, Ricochet retains the U.S. title. Uh, so SmackDown and ECW, us and SmackDown tie the opener. We won, SmackDown won the second mid-card. WCW won the third, and Raw and SmackDown tied the main event. And Drew won back the title, and Damien's the Intercontinental Champion. Alright, on to week three in a minute. $49,361, $57,095, $46,975, and $50,199. $38,065 fans, $49,887. And for us, 38,085 fans. All right, okay, we made an actual profit this week. That That's the important part here. We made a profit. All right, we got the power card. That's cool. Uh, still not that far behind in fans, though, so we, we, can, we can come back. New Orleans, Louisiana. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, heads up, boss. The fight I had, I had book got canceled. I can't find anything, anything that will get me to this week's ECW show on time. It looks like I'm going to miss it. Well, we need you for the show. I'll send on my private transportation to pick you up. Accidents, please make sure you're here for next week's show. I do understand and hope you understand I'll have to find you a week's wages for your absence. I'm afraid that violates terms of your contract and your employment at ECW is hereby terminated. Who the hell would say that? No, pay, pay 25 we need to boost his morale. Well, thanks, boss. I really appreciate it. All right, that helped his morale. Uh, okay. All right. First things first, the power cards. Uh, at two weeks to a contract's duration. Yes, please. Uh, yes, an extra two weeks to Gunther's deal. 
All right, let's take a look at these Staminas week three here. Okay, okay, we're not doing too bad on Stamina management. It's, hell, it's going up. Uh, the women just... I need my women to go up. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, it was after the match that that popularity thing kicked in. Uh, do, 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 okay, do you not put your most popular specialist? Okay, that could be useful. Who's my most popular specialist? Bailey. Okay. Wait, is it Bailey? Yes, by two popularity. And it's do not book. So it means she's not allowed on the show, period. All right. Uh, gonna boost Tiff's popularity. I'm gonna try and boost Liv's. And try and boost Nikita's, hopefully. Actually, no. We're going to switch this to a call-out. Gunther is going to call out Randy Orton. Uh, actually, you know what? Tiffany, you got a decent enough popularity. Dijak and Jay. Kit wanted a rematch, I believe, with McDonough. Dominic. So let's run an interference though from McDonough on Kit. That's fine. And then we will book. Of Cody versus J. Uh, men's title. Do I want to do that? Yeah, we'll do that. I don't think I have a fixed match card, though. So if Cody wins, it'll become a three-way feud for the title. Uh, I just know that booking title matches tend to help with, like, everything. Help with ratings, so I'm just trying to do that. Okay, I need to dip into talent scouts here, because... Uh, who's the cheapest out of these three? Wait, what do I actually need? Uh, I need a female. No, actually, no, I don't. I need a face. Let's just go Carl Anderson. Three-week deal. Just a filler contract. If I let go of him, I let go of him. Given stamina, we'll do that. And I'll give Elm a week off next week on the go-home events. All right, confirm booking. All right, let's get in, skip. Body back, skip. Oh. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. All right, Kit, despite the interference, that's a rough opener, but it's okay. I probably should have made this the... Yeah, I should have made that the opener because of the table stipulation. And it lived didn't go up any popularity. Damn it. Well, big ups for uh, Tiffany. And Jay keeps the title. Jay's not, Jay's not letting go of that title. Dijak's going to have the chance to dethrone him. LA Knight's a double champ. SmackDown won the opener. All tied the mid-cards. WCW won the second mid-card. And WCW and Raw tied the main event. All right. All right. We're struggling early stages, but it's okay. We'll, we'll bounce back. We got the pay-per-view. Ooh, that's a bad fan change. Okay. Now, what did we get hit with? We didn't hit with anything. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, sure, even though I'm pretty sure I'm letting go of you soon. At least one TLC match? Okay, I can do that. 
Uh, okay, first things first. Uh, yes, that's what we want to use. We want to use that on the paper. I forgot this wasn't pay-per-view week. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot this was not pay-per-view week. Okay, uh, call out promo. Jay and Dijak just get that stamina rest. Right now, Tiffany is going to be like our best bet for trading purposes. Um, let's go with a uh, tag team call out. Right there. Uh, some advert charity, charity, charity. Oh, yeah, charity is probably what we'd want to do for that because that's hopefully a good uh, boost in popularity. So let's put Nikita on charity. And our main event will be Randy Orton in action against. No. No, 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 no. Luke Gunther. Wait, what was it? Oh, no, it's TLC. There we go. Cody's kind of just floating around right now, but that's okay. Cora and Tiffany. Carl uh, Anderson and... Uh, let's do McDonough just for the filler purposes. And Bailey and Morgan. This week is not going to go well, but it's okay. It's okay. We got the pay-per-view. Right now, this is the first month. I'm just I'm trying to get to the trading section because that's when the big stuff will be happening. All right. Let's get at least two stars. At least two stars. One? Oh, man. Okay. That's right. Well, I, I have faith that we'll have a good pay-per-view, so... I can see I'm not the greatest with this mode, but it's okay. It's okay. We're, we're working towards it. Bailey and Liv. All right. Uh, not not good ratings. Uh, once my women, once I can clear out these women. Okay, it's okay. I'll be glad when the pay-per-view comes. All right. Okay, bottom line, we got slaughtered. But this was just a filler week just to get from point A to point B. Yeah, we're getting crushed right now. The not-so-rough lead is getting bigger. Now, what do we hit with? Move all match bonuses, quality bonus, plus set match XP gained to very low. Uh, No. You just pulled something on me. Don't even try that, Teddy. Okay, talent scout. Uh, buck. Nikita. Okay, perfect. All right, there we go. Uh, no, I want the million dollar man card. Makes all of our matches free this week. And we'll keep most of our fans. And I'll be paying for the Hell in a Cell. And we'll pay for the backstage crew. Uh, unfortunately, we need Tier 3 in order to book an actual Hell in a Cell match. But it's okay. Do Gunther versus Randy in an Extreme Rules match for the ECW title. Uh, you know what? We'll make this a triple threat. We'll make this a triple threat. Uh, false Count Anywhere. Dijak and Cody. None of them have a specific special match type. Uh, do, do, do. And we'll have a tag team tables match. 
right there. Tag team titles. And we just got the rest of them in the book. Okay. Uh, Tiff and Cora in an Extreme Rules match. And Nikita and Bailey in a tables match. And that's Bailey's specialty. Uh, we will run some charity here. And let, let's uh, pick up. Literally, you're literally just for tonight. Just you two are just for tonight, just for the charity promos. It probably won't help much, but okay. That that's our Hell to Sell card. I am decently confident in it. Not a lot, mind you, but decently. I feel like our title matches are gonna what give me what carries this show. But let's get right into it. And we will be watching Gunther versus Randy Orton, for sure. So let's go through the matches here. Cody Rhodes with the victory, taking the title and a three and a half opener. That's good. That's good. Liv gets us 3,000 fans. Awesome to see. And Cora. Uh, one and a half, really? Sorry, all right, all right, this match is going to save us. I hope. All right, three star, three star. I'll take it. All right, we got 1,500 fans. That's better than nothing. Decent popularity. All right, all right, we got three star on that. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right we did go on that. All right, time to spectate, and I'll see you at the match. Oh, right, I forgot. Loading times on this game are quick. Yes, yes, it is an Extreme Rules match. Alright. Allow the ring general to walk out here. This is awesome. All right, here we go. Gunther, the ring general, formerly known as Walter. He is a threat. Walking in tonight, looking to defang the Viper and walk out the ECW champion. Impact since his arrival. A truly dominant specimen. And a specimen who is as ready as ever to chop clean through the competition. Hey, he puts others to the test. And they often come up short. Gunther's been battling. With such a purpose, absolutely no wasted energy. Well, that's Thanks for that, Cole. Is saving himself completely for the battle ahead. Yeah, but he does manage to make his. Gunther's been battling all month possible. for a shot at the ECW title. Randy beat him week one, but that did not keep him down. And here he is for the rematch. Is this Gunther's last opportunity at the ECW title? Will Gunther defang the Viper and dethrone the Viper and walk out ECW champion? We are going to be finding out in a matter of moments where here he comes. The Legend Killer, the Apex Predator, the Viper, the ECW champion, Randy Orton. Let's go, Randy Orton. The back problems don't matter. He's coming in here ready to RKO and take names. I know that did not work as well as the normal saying, but we're going with it. Why are Randy's eyes so bloody closed on this entrance? I don't know, but here we go. I love the look of his model, though. His model looks great. more sadistic superstar than Randy Orton. superstar who will do whatever it takes. Alrighty, Randy Orton, look at this man. His eyes aren't open, but it's okay. He doesn't have to see. He knows how to walk down the ring. He's done it millions of times. Simple advice. Don't cross the Viper. Don't cross the Viper is right. Gunther's done exactly that. Is the ring general gonna pay for it? Ring general's without Imperium on ECW. 
No, Lud no Ludwig Kaiser, no Giovanni Vinci. It is just Gunther. Extreme Rules tends to benefit Randy Orton, you know, that, that dangerous mentality he has. The fans already chanting RKO, let's go. ECW World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. It's all about the gold here tonight. Let's go. Gunta ready to go. Randy looking ready to go. Look at him with the easy to tell. That is a sight you never thought you'd see, ladies and gentlemen. Like, no one ever thought they'd see Randy Orton hold the ECW title, but here we are in 2024. Uh, next month of, like, their next My GM month, I intend on being a bit better with my booking. For this first episode, I was just trying to get to the pay-per-view. I'm hoping my trades work out. I'm hoping I can kind of finesse some trades with the other brands, at least one of them. All righty, here we go. The ring general, the Viper. The ECW title is on the line at Hell in a Cell. And the bell is rung and the match has begun. Randy Orton with some punches to start off. And Randy's showing off his strength. The whole thing is going to be a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed my GM, what I've played of it. My GM was a mode I'm very happy is in these games now. And I hope it doesn't leave like anytime soon. Uh, 2K has been doing better. They've gotten better every year. 22 was okay. 23 was better. 23 was good. 24 is better. Uh, I'm excited to see what they do with 25. But the fact that they put casket and ambulance both in this mode uh, definitely excites me. I'm excited to be commentating those matches when the uh, the time comes. Because I will be commentating the... Uh, Casket and ambulance matches at some point because they will be appearing. I don't know if they'll appear in this first season, but they will be appearing. Uh, I will be doing one season. If you guys like it enough, I will do the second season or I will just restart. Depends how long this takes. And I'm going to try for daily uploads, uh, which means this series won't, this first season won't take long because we're doing five weeks per episode. But we'll see, because I'm also going off uh, my Universe Mode stuff, and I'm thinking of My Rise. I'm thinking of doing a My Rise series on here, because My Rise actually interests me this year. For those who don't know, uh, I tried doing a My Rise last year on 23. I just couldn't get into it. It just did not interest me. Like, it couldn't keep my interest, but from everything I've seen of the current one on 24, I'm hyped to play it. So I might make it a series... Uh, if you guys want to see it as a series, let me know in the comments. Because I probably won't work on it for a couple days, as tomorrow I'm going to be working on Universe Mode stuff. So you guys got a couple days to uh, hopefully comment and let me know if you want to see me do a My Rise with my own personal character. If so, I will put in all the effort to make my character look great. Do logos, I'll do everything for them. Uh, if you guys want to see it. So please just let me know in the comments. If you have to, pause the video right now. Let me know in the comments. Do you want to see a My Rise playthrough on this channel? Because if so, I will happily do it for you guys. As we continue on here with Gunther, just a snake eyes. He goes for the cover. That's not going to put away Orin. Come on, Gunther. Let's go. Uh, of course, Universe Mode, My Rise, My GM. I'll also probably upload some uh, matches just for fun. So that's going to be fun to do. Gone through breaking out of the drag attempt by Randy Orton. Oh, Randy ducks down. Oh, elbow to the face of Gunther. Randy dragging Gunther to the center of the ring. Oh, almost. Kick to the gut or leg. Randy doing his uh, signature taunt there. So who, yeah, who, let me know in the comments who you guys think is going to win this, if you get the chance. 
matches. I'm fine with either one. Personally, I can book either one as ECW champion. I'm gonna just waiting to see how the roster looks after I'm done trades. I'm hoping I can get some uh, decent trades out of at least one of the brands. Vintage Orange coming up. Vintage Orange, ladies and gentlemen. Randy setting up for it. Is he going to hit it? The RKO! Hooks leg. One, two, and Gunther kicks out at two. All right, Randy almost had it. Randy almost had it, but Gunther said no. Randy going for a weapon on the ring. Oh, sledgehammer. Signature weapon of his uh, former mentor, Triple H. Back with his gut. Oh. Gunther just with the chops and oh, lock, locks in the hold. Look at Gunther's face. I love the weapon physics in this game, by the way. I've been playing around with some of these matches, and the wet, like, not the weapon physics, the blood physics are amazing. The weapons are fun, too. You can just throw them at people, and that, that's just fun to do, especially throwing steel chairs. It's great. Just great. And oh, Gunther just throwing Randy into the bloody corner. Kick to the gut. Randy with a kick to the face. Oh, let me know in the comments if there's anyone specific that you guys would like to see me pick up from the talent scout free agency thing, or at least attempt to. Anyone, like any wrestler, whether they're NXT, non-NXT, whatever, that you'd like to see me possibly try and pick up for ECW. But I will work on it. Gunther. Oh, Randy breaking out of it. Punch to the face. Oh, and Gunther flips him over. I'm excited to see where this mode goes. Excited to see how this match goes. Gunther throws Randy into the ring. This match could be one RKO away from victory. Because Gunther has no resiliency, apparently. I did not realize Gunther did not have resiliency as a uh, payback. But could he end it with this? No, Randy's got the resiliency. But Gunther's got a second one. Gunther could teeth throw Orton. Okay, Randy uses resiliency. Gunther's gonna go for it again. Is he good? Is he going to defang the Viper? Is he gonna de- No, Randy. Randy getting out of it. And, oh, big clothesline from Randy Orton. And uh, phenomenal camera angle. And Randy wins off the clothesline. And such a beautiful camera angle to capture the moment. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Randy won off a clothesline and seemingly closes the chapter on Gunther. Randy's standing tall at the end of the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view with the ECW title. This was a great title defense from the champion. Yeah, hats off to the champion. They could not be kept down in this one. Congratulations, Orton. Going to be reigning supreme on ECW for the foreseeable future. All righty. All right, we got three and a half, and the rivalry's up to level two now. Or it is a state at level two. I'm not sure which. But nevertheless, big win for Randy Orton. And the feud seemingly continues. Wow, not a single promo. One, two, bring that back. And Robert with the victory. One, two, that's it. Bring it. Logan, oh, one star. All right, I like to see that. Not because it's Logan, I like to see it because it's raw. Wow, Tamina and Al oh, TLC, that's what I was going to say. Tamina and Alexa outperform Nakamura and Logan. Ivar beats Balor, one star. Blair and Lynch. And Lynch beats a Blair Davenport. Okay, I think we're safe against uh, Raw. Now let's see how SmackDown fared. 
I must have took out basically their women's champs. Their women and their tag team. Alrighty. JC Jane. Oh, three star. Damn. And Breaker with a huge victory. Oh, shit, that was against Ken Shamrock. Damn, SmackDown busted out the big bucks. WCW. EO Sky versus Raquel Rodriguez. Okay, okay. So WCW might be a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, well, Carmella, Omos, and Reed, and Reed with the W. Okay. Tony D'Angelo. Jimmy Uso and Braun Strowman. Braun with the big victory. All righty, new world champ for WCW. So they SmackDown and WCW beat us on the main event. We won the mid card. WCW beat us on the middle mid card. SmackDown beat us on the first, and we won the opener. All righty. Well, let's see these uh, fan changes. One hundred nineteen thousand two hundred thirty-one thousand dollar profit. Okay. Let's see what Raw picked up. Yeah, okay, considerably less, which is good. Okay, okay, SmackDown still considerably less though, that's good. And WCW? Oh, Jimmy Uso got himself DQ'd in this match. And okay, so WCW is got the second most out of all of us. But it did not help us take over SmackDown. Alright, well we're gonna work towards it for the second month. But first things first. What is this? Oh, Raw trying to offer us money. Oh. No, because I, I would consider doing it, but one, I don't want to deal with Cody, and two, Root's like annoyed, and I don't want to deal with that. So, no, Foley. Nice try, though. What is this? No. Nice try, Theo. Bro, will y'all stop going after Cody? <laughs> what is the I would only I would only take this for the cash and then I would release Indy. But no, I'm not giving up my champion. Fuck. Okay. Um, all right. The two that we helped uh, build up a lot this month. And uh, let's go for Korra. Does Raw really have anyone I desperately want? No. Let's see about SmackDown. Okay. WCW? Hmm. Well, I, I'll take Finn and Bray. And ten K. Let's see if he says yes. I doubt he will. Okay. Great. Thanks, Foley. All right, SmackDown. Uh, who have I got left of my women's division here? Liv and Bailey. So let's try for a one for like one for one trade up. You'll get Bailey, and I will take. Okay, not SmackDown. SmackDown really has no one I want. Um, bro, what, Foley? Why are you the only one that's got people I want? What the hell? At least I thought I want. Um. 
Yeah, I'll take Logan off your hand straight up. All right, perfect, Foley. We only have Liv left with that 60 popularity. Smackdown. I'll take a hurt Chad Gable. He's annoyed. But I'll take him. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. I understand I understand because he's a champion. It was worth a shot. He's a champion, okay? Give me a break. Yeah, the try at least once. Hmm. You know, no, I'm willing I'm willing to try that one one more time. And I will give you a thousand dollars. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's not going to give up a champion. I, I, he's not stupid. Okay. Let's go with Breaker, then. Actually, no, no, Breaker doesn't have the trade value. Uh, or I don't have the trade value to match it. No, Melo's got, like, shit stamina. <laughs> I might be actually done. I might just hold out another month. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we're we're gonna hold out another month. We're gonna just have live run charity and try and get that popularity up. Alrighty, uh, yes. I listen to my stars, spend my cash wisely. All right, thanks for playing match with Paul. Trust me on this. All right. Here, take a week off at the health spa. All right, here we go, the shakeups. Start from the bottom. Superstars above 65 popular, lose 15 popular, and seven random gain 35. Select the superstar when the superstar participates in a match, all participants will lose less stamina. All of your cruiser superstars get plus three. Let's go with this one. Uh, okay. So let's take a quick look at our uh, popularities here. Okay, so some of them that really hurt, but others, it boosted a lot of popularities though. And we got a lot of, uh, not a lot, we don't have too many staminas we gotta worry about, just mainly Uso. Uh, no one specifically, okay. Well, that is it for episode one. Next week, or uh, not next week, next episode, we will be doing the countdown to SummerSlam and the SummerSlam pay-per-view event. Uh, make sure that if you enjoy the content that you watch today, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any uploads, including this, My Rise, Universe Mode, anything else that comes on this channel. Please let me know in the comments if you want to see me do a My Rise video. And also let me know if there's anyone specific in the talent scouts you want me to try and get. And I will work towards it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you will return for the next episode. Peace out.